talk a little bit about the race. What do you think? Yeah, it's gonna be hot. Hey guys, this is Tom, and welcome to my first ever F1 Championship on this uh, on this YouTube channel. I'm gonna just be trying something a bit different, just trying to see um, what I can get away with and what I can do on this PC. Recording some uh, racing games, starting up a championship with Kimi Raikkonen. Um, I'm gonna start last in every single one of these races, which means that I won't be practicing and I'll do one shot qualifying to make sure I can retire and finish last in each of the sessions. As you can see here, I'm just gonna start the qualifying and retire. And we, we, we are gonna be using setup and we should be trying to see if we can win the world championship. So I'll hand it over to look at the race strategy to Murray Walker. The team two lines, two lines, three lines, four lines, five lines, and it's go, 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 go! <laughs> so there you see, Murray getting us off to a good start as um, we get by both Man Marushas off a line better traction up into 18th place from 20th and we're looking at the inside of Fernando Alonso and Jensen Button there but we can't get by as they just squeeze us out on the apex and now we have a lot better traction at that corner and a lot better speed with the Ferrari engine and we get boxed in here by Fernando Alonso and around the outside and we can't get the move to stick there but now cutting on cu cutting onto a few corners ahead you see we're looking up the inside of Jensen Button with two McLarens going side by side and that means the button's exit is compromised, so we're going to go around the outside of him on this long right hand. And now maybe we'll get the, up, up the inside of Alonso too, and we do. Double McLaren overtake into that tight right hander there. Cutting on again into the first lap, we go around the outside of Perez. And looking around the outside of Maldonado, he squeezes us a bit, he had to go on the grass. We take out a couple of um, braking markers as well. But luckily, we managed to escape Maldonado <laughs> without uh, having a collision. Now cutting on into the Final straight, getting up the inside of Nazar, the much more powerful, or maybe not more powerful, but just faster Ferrari. We both have Ferrari engines in the back of our cars. And cutting on again, second lap. We're going up the inside of Verstappen with his Renault powered engine this year, of course. He switched to Ferrari for the 2016 season, and that won't help him here. Now looking at the back of Grosjean. His last season for Lotus, and all we just avoid him going up the inside into. It's another long right hander. It's just comfortably out breaking him into this corner as well. And down the main straight, looking up the, in, uh, looking up the back of Hulkenberg. We set a new fastest lap, doing what Kimi does every single race. He might not win, but he will set the fastest lap and get the inside of Hulkenberg. And now we look up the back of Marcus Ericsson, doing well in the ninth place. We're going to have to demote him down to tenth, though, as we go around the outside of him. And we look back up the inside, he does. With the, you see the proximity arrow there? but we managed to hold on nevertheless. And we're up into ninth place, win the points. Two positions up into the points, and we want to win the World Championship. That's the goal sign from last This is with Legend AI, so it's the hardest challenge you can get. And we got the inside there of Science quite happily to get a better exit off that corner in Sector 1. Now cutting on to the fourth lap, we have DRS on Danny Kavir. What's that on him going around the outside of the second straight, second DRS zone? And ooh, just how <laughs> avoiding Ricardo there, late breaking. Try and stop Kiviak going around our outside. So we hold on to seventh place. But now coming up on to the fourth lap still. We've got the inside of Danny Ricardo. Now we see a train of two Williams, the RT Mix Fashion Vettel and Lewis Hamilton. And right at the end of lap four, we managed to go up both Williams, up inside of both of them. And now we have Massa on our inside, we understeer wide in this corner, almost hitting the wall. We get the RS so are both the Williams off of Vettel and Hamilton. And uh, as you can see, the Williams is a really quick car in a straight line. Think our inside, we're going to break late and hang it around the outside, giving enough room so we don't make contact. And that's job done, we're up into P4 now, so that's you know, on the fifth lap, or sixth lap maybe. And uh, now we can see we're trying to catch Hamilton and Vettel, but we're making a lot of little mistakes, which means um, our tyres are really going off now. It's looking very impossible, and our uh, engineers call us into the pits. I'm hoping to go into the pits, but I see Vettel going in. I don't want to get stats. So I'm going to help. I'm going to stay out for a little bit extra, a little bit longer, as uh, they get the undercut on me, both Hamilton and uh, Vettel. And now on lap, on, eight, on lap eight, it's starting to rain a bit heavier. As you might have noticed it's uh, been raining or drizzling throughout the whole episode. But um, I was thinking, can I go into Inters? But it didn't look wet enough, and the engineer wasn't telling me anything. So just let them do what they were going to do and they put me on prime tyres you can see here go into the medium compound and we managed to stay ahead of Bottas and jump us in the pits that's what is good 
Okay, we definitely think the intermediates are the way to go now. We're seeing standing water on the track, and I don't see it drying out anytime soon. And as you heard there, our engineer just called us in saying it's Vinters, and that was literally three corners after he, um, we've made our pit stop. So it's just, just annoying, so we could have gone to Vinters right then. We had to go around a whole new lap, and now we're slack behind Sebastian Vettel. Which really isn't good, and see we're waiting. We're holding up, held up a long time by him, and then the pit crew had to get the new tyres. We wait even extra, and now we're being held up by Hamilton going by, and Bottas, and Danny Ricardo. So we're down to sixth place after being up in uh, second, I think, at one point. So now we're cutting on to lap 10. It's raining quite heavily now, and we're going past Danny Ricardo um, down this long right hand, right hand slash straight to put the inside of him. Now cutting on to lap 11. Cutting the corner a little bit there. Getting, flicking up a little bit of grass but we get a much better exit than Bottas. And um, go around the outside of him. Leaving him in space. He almost makes contact. We go a bit wide. He's right there behind us. But he can't really make a move into his next, well, this next corner at least. Not a good op overtaking opportunity. And now on the back of Lewis Hamilton or trying to get on the back of Lewis Hamilton. That's why he's going quite slowly. Can we catch him for the end of the race? That is the objective. Here as we come to lap, lap 13, we're going a lot closer to him. We go a bit wide at this corner, so he gets a better exit. It doesn't look like we'll be able to pass him down this straight. But saying that, he goes very wide or understeers off that corner. And we have a lot more momentum in the slipstream. Bringing in rich fuel next to it. We've got the slipstream now, we're up his inside. Another job done on not a very long straight um, for an F1 track for Australia. We managed to get by him there. And he's a long way back now, obviously going wide and uh, missing the apex of that last corner. On lap 14, we're chasing down Vettel. And all of a sudden, you see him on the mini map and he just disappears. And uh, he retires from the race as the engineer says. <laughs> and we've just been gifted second place. So that's not going to help our constructors at all. I was just looking back, like, where is he? And uh, that's it. That's the end of the race. Couldn't catch Rosberg. He was too far up the road. He had been the whole race. We come home to get second place in the Australian Grand Prix. And what result that is for Kimi. That's a win for Nico Rosberg at the Australian Grand Prix here in Melbourne. What a result for this German driver. What a fantastic result for Nico. He'll be so happy to start the season on such a positive note. That's it for today's Grand Prix. And from Ant and I, it's goodbye and see you again next time. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode.